If the beach is the most important aspect of choosing your Punta Cana hotel, this is the perfect video for you. We've visited 28 resorts scattered across all beach areas of Punta Cana, and we'll rank them here to help you choose the perfect Caribbean beach. First, let me briefly explain how Punta Cana is organized to make it easier to understand. Strictly speaking, Punta Cana is a small area in the Eastern Dominican Republic that surrounds the Punta Cana International Airport, and only a few hotels are located here. Over the years, the area known worldwide as Punta Cana has expanded to include over 30 miles of coastline. This coastline can be divided into nine beach areas, which we'll now rank according to our preference. We'll also include the hotels we visited in those beach areas for your convenience. Number 9. Capcana Beaches Capcana is a private and upscale area about 15 minutes from the airport. Its development began in 2001, and after a slow start, it has seen an increase in popularity in recent years with the opening of world-class hotels like the Hyatt Ziva, Zilara, and Margaritaville. Unfortunately, with one notable exception ranked higher on our list, Capcana was not blessed with the best beaches. Capcana's coast is rockier and more prone to cliffs than flat beaches, so areas suitable for swimming can be challenging to find. Some hotels, like the TRS Capcana, have even built their own beaches with wave breakers and truckloads of sand. Since this beach is between two breakwaters and has a seaweed barrier, there is reduced water movement, which gives the water a greenish tint due to the buildup of green slime in the rocks. Another hotel in Capcana is the Sanctuary. It has natural beach areas, but they're at the bottom of our list after the TRS Capcanas. Beaches in this area tend to get a lot of seaweed during seaweed season. The one major thing Capcana has going for it is no beach vendors. Number 8. Uvero Alto We've visited six resorts in Uvero Alto. Compared to the other beaches on this list, this area is on the northernmost side of the island. This means the beach is more on the Atlantic Ocean than the Caribbean's seaside, giving it different characteristics. The sand is darker than the pearly white you've probably seen on Instagram, and so is the water. The most famous Punta Cana beaches are turquoise, while Uvero Alto is deeper blue. The water is often rougher and gets more seaweed during seaweed season than in most areas except Capcana. To rate any hotel's beach, we consider the beach stretch right in front of the hotel and how well maintained and organized their seating area is. Our ranking from best to least favorite of the Uvero Alto hotels we've visited is as follows. Breathless, Live Aqua, Royalton Chic, Dreams Onyx, Dreams Punta Cana, now Jewel Punta Cana, Ocean El Faro. Did you know you can book your Punta Cana hotel on your favorite booking site and help us grow our channel? Simply do it through our affiliate links in the description of any of our videos when you're ready to book your resort. If you book within seven days of clicking the link, we earn a small commission and it doesn't cost you extra. Number seven, Cabeza de Toro. There are not many hotels in Cabeza de Toro, We've visited only one resort in this area, the Dreams Flora, but since the area is not that large, we feel comfortable drawing conclusions from only one visit. Cabeza de Toro is closer to the following beaches on this list than the first two. Pearly white sand, turquoise, and calm waters like you imagine when you think of Punta Cana. This beach stretch has more seaweed patches on the seafloor than the following beaches, which gives it a rougher look and prevents it from ranking higher. The seating area of the Dreams Flora was well maintained and organized during our visit. Number 6. El Cortecito. We've stayed at one resort in El Cortecito Beach. However, we used to live there and know the area well. This beach is gorgeous and we love it. The difference between it and the others we ranked higher is minimal and subjective, but we had to rank them somehow. El Cortecito also features pearly white sand and turquoise two-tone water. When the tide is high, the sand area can be reduced significantly. There is a local shopping area in El Cortecito Beach, which some find adds charm, while others think it's not that nice looking. 
This beach can also get significant amounts of seaweed during the summer months. Number 5. Los Corales Los Corales Beach is next to El Cortecito, therefore they're similar in many aspects. However, we rank Los Corales higher because the sand area is more extensive and thus more comfortable. Since we used to live nearby, we also know this beach very well. We also stayed in the cheapest Punta Cana all-inclusive, the Walla Pavaro, and the beach was the best part of the experience. As El Cortecito, Los Corales has a few access points for locals, so it can get busier than the other beaches on this list. Number 4. Bavaro Beach It is one of the most famous and beautiful beaches in Punta Cana, and according to a TripAdvisor ranking, it's among the top 20 beaches in the world. The water is the characteristic turquoise color of Punta Cana beaches and is generally very calm. The sand area is extensive, which allows for plenty of seating and play area. Some people complain about the number of boats parked on the horizon. We believe you can't go wrong with staying in a hotel in Bavaro Beach. Our ranking from best to least favorite of the Bavaro Beach hotels we visited is as follows. Lopezan Costa Bavaro, Paradisus Gran Cana, Barceló Bavaro Palace, Paradisus Palma Real, Barceló Bavaro Beach, Melia Caribe Beach. Number 3. Juanillo Beach. Juanillo is located in Capcana, the area we ranked as having the worst beaches in Punta Cana. However, Juanillo rises above all others in this area. When it's free of seaweed, it is easily one of the top beaches in the DR. During summer seaweed season, Juanillo can get a lot of seaweed, so keep that in mind when planning your trip. Its extensive sand area is pearly white, the watercolors are gorgeous and super tranquil, perfect for those who want to relax. Our ranking from best to least favorite of the Juanillo Beach hotels we visited is as follows. Hyatt Zilara Capcana, Hyatt Ziva Capcana, Margaritaville Island Reserve Capcana Wave. The part of Juanillo in front of the Margaritaville Capcana Hotel has a rocky section which many travelers complain about. Number 2. Arena Gorda We love Arena Gorda Beach. Whenever we visit a hotel in this area, the beach never disappoints. Sometimes, the water right in front of a hotel is not the best, but if you walk just a few steps to either side, you can find gorgeous water. This was the case when we visited the Rio Palace Punta Cana. We feel that Arena Gorda is the perfect mix of development and virgin beach feel. Our ranking from best to least favorite of the Arena Gorda beach hotels we visited is as follows. Hard Rock Punta Cana, Rio Palace Macao, Rio Republica, Baya Principe Luxury Ambar, Royalton Bavaro, Rio Palace Punta Cana. Number 1. Macau. Macau Beach is gorgeous and easily one of our favorite beaches in the country. It's seaweed-free most of the year, its color is breathtaking, and it has a beautiful horizon. The sand at Macau is brownish instead of the pearly white sand you find in other parts of Punta Cana. This color gives it a more virgin beach look and feel. One thing to note is that Macau is the waviest of all the beaches on this list so swimming in it requires constant effort. Dreams Macau is the only hotel on this beach, so you pretty much have it for yourself. However, locals visit the beach on the weekends and it can get crowded. Click on this video next to know exactly what to pack for your Punta Cana vacation.